many many students approached me either through mail or through chats in the youtube that for mechanical engineers there is a lot of problem related to jobs and they don't know what to do when they are in final year most of the jobs are going to data science computers so even the mechanical engineers they are going in that direction so many student asked me sir what to do so what i did basically i am planning a series i have many students work overseas and india they are well to do some people are leading a team of design engineers in us some people are some students are in company some students are professor in foreign universities so i requested them that whether they can make some short video 10 to 12 minutes video to guide the young engineers in india that what they can do especially mechanical engineers what they can do what subject they should study what they should do so that their career is you know uh, you know some some grows in, in a very nice way so this is the first video uh, he is my student very brilliant student and he is in presently us so similarly you will find that uh, over a period of 20 25 days i will be uploading at least five six videos of my students that what the young engineer mechanical engineer should do to basically enhance their careers and uh, uh, situate you know in a very good way in career so watch out these videos thank you hi my name is akhil i am currently working as design engineer too in at melwaki tools in melwaki wisconsin america uh i i am a alumni from uh, girit college uh, i did my mechanical engineering from 2009 to 2013 uh, and from there i worked for a company called oil uh, fmc technologies it's uh, basically an oil and gas company my role over there was design engineer again i was a design engineer i was making some subsea equipment over there Uh, i worked there for 3 years continuously from 2013 to 2016 and after that i wanted to transition to a bigger position and i wanted to improve my skills so that's the reason why i did my masters from a college called university of michigan in dearborn it's located in uh, uh, michigan uh, usa and i did it from 2016 to 18 while i was pursuing my masters i was also uh, working as a research assistant because i had some research knowledge from my btech uh, experience so my projects were mostly research based projects in btech also so i was able to quickly translate myself into a research based profile and i did work for some uh, industry projects mostly for general motors hyundai ford it was more of an reliability durability projects uh, from there i transitioned myself to become a consumer product uh, expert i applied for some jobs which i wanted to work in so i worked for a startup company in new york city i know it is exciting i worked in new york city for 3 years uh, i i was able to make one foldable bicycle helmet uh i worked there for 3 years i was able to successfully work on that and from there i wanted to transition into a more organized field so that's why i have joined melwaki tools currently i am working as a design engineer too in melwaki tools uh but i wanted to the reason for this all discussion is i wanted to discuss how what what opportunities mechanical engineer can give you so one i wanted to speak about different fields different job or job uh, designations that you can find after completion of your uh, degree in mechanical engineering there are different opportunities i i can speak about it but the most important i feel is uh, design uh, quality and uh, supply chain control and manufacturing so in design engineering you can become a cad engineer you can become a design engineer and then that design engineer can be something like from a concept engineer to a advanced engineer to an npd engineer or a value engineering you can perform different types of operations so there there is a slight difference between all of this but you are pretty much doing the same work so there is there is a different and different companies work with a different structure 
I said you a little bit about the structure of design engineering. Now let me explain you the structure of uh, quality quality position. The quality position require you can become like a quality engineer, reliability engineer. There are uh, metrology engineers. There are different types of engineering in this, and these people are responsible to make sure the highest quality product is in the market. They are the one who will decide what are our targets, what are our, what does our bell curve looks like. How, how do we know that this is the highest quality product? What is the comparisons that we can make? What, what different products are available in the market? This is where the quality person works in hand. And once the quality person goes into this, there is another field for manufacturing. Here comes the actual hands-on person. So here the manufacturing engineer should have a good processes knowledge. What manufacturing process? It can be anything. It can be injection molding, blow molding or anything. So manufacturing engineer is responsible to make sure that the processes are controlled and the product is made within, within a specified process. And there are some design team also in this. They also work on making fixtures, uh, jigs, you name it. So there are there are there is a product engineer also out there. The work of the product engineer is to make sure that the product is what the marketing team has actually requested for. So there is a marketing team also. They they work with you in hand, saying that hey, I want something which is new, which hasn't been launched in the market. So that product engineer is responsible that to make sure that. And there is another person who is very important over here. He is a packaging engineer. He'll make sure that the packaging looks good, packaging is right, packaging is done properly, it gets delivered into your boxes at your place or a warehouse or at, at a store or anything like that. And after that, the supply chain quality, supply chain team comes into picture. So you have a manufacturing part, part. You know that you can make a set number of volume per day. But you need to store, you need to plan your inventory, you need to understand what, how the sub, demand and supply is working. This is where the supply quality engineers, supply audits, uh, uh, the data engineers, all, all, them, all of them work together and then they plan the inventory. They, that is where you save a lot of money. So you plan what time you need to re release and purchase order or anything like that. For the, I have spoken about all of this, this different kinds of design designations that you can get into. But what are the major fields that you can get into? Uh, for a mechanical engineer, there are five different fields I feel that which are majorly important that you can get into. One being uh, automotive, that is very exciting, that is very nice, uh, somehow things have been working good, good on there. There is aerospace industry. There is medical industry, there is oil and gas industry, there is consumer market. So in this all fields, all of them will require the same amount of engineering, the same amount of designations. Every, everybody would require the same engineering principles. And I, I was lucky enough that I, I'm proud that I've taken mechanical engineering for a few reasons. One being my fundamentals were strong. My, my education was based on mostly not based on merit or, uh, or marks sheet or a, or, a, or a curriculum CV, but it was mostly based on fundamentals. Where my fundamentals were strong since my 12th grade to my engineering. So somehow I feel I'm, I, I, have, I have good knowledge of that. So that has been my key skill. And another two skills which are important for a mechanical engineering are communication skill and soft skills. because. You are the person, you are talking to different person. A design engineer is talking to manufacturing engineer, a manufacturing engineer is talking to supply engineer. You are, you are visiting different vendors, you are auditing different vendors, you are understanding how their quality process is working. So this all requires you to be very assertive, not aggressive, to be exact. So you need to understand a uh, different perspective of vision. So you need to work as a team. Um, so that's why I feel some of the skills that you require are uh, soft skills, communication skills, and also uh, your fundamentals, your mechanical engineering fundamentals. Now coming to, I just wanted to compare uh, that now the latest trend has been that everybody is getting into software. I just wanted to compare how software work looks like as a mechanical work looks like. I agree there are some more opportunities with 
in software industry. But I will not say that there are no opportunities in mechanical engineering because you have ample amount of openings. I can tell about my company. Currently, we have more than 10, 1,000 openings in my company. And they, they, for a different engineering perspective, it's not only design engineer. There are manufacturing, as I said, I was explaining different, different engineering perspective. So all of them have a common degree in common, that is mechanical engineering. And you, I understand that some people like flexible work. Um, you can work from home, I guess, for a software engineer. But in here, you need to have field visits for sure. With this, what will happen is, in this current lifestyle, what we are having, you get to work out naturally. So I visit, I, I, out of five days and two days, I'm in my uh, supply lab or my inventory or my, OB, we call it an OB place. So basically they, they, we send our inventory from and we have our manufacturing facility where, where, where I constantly visit. So I'm not on my desk all the time. So I'm keep, I, I keep on walking, keep on running. I'm not a desk person at all. Um, and then there, there isn't something that I wanted to talk about was a mechanical engineer thinks in an ergonomic way, whereas as some other engineer would not think in an ergonomic way. How do you hold this? Is this slot important? Why do you think this slot is important? Why do you think this grip is like this? So this smaller, finer details, only a mechanical engineer has a ability to think. No one else has that ability to think. So that finer details are some something that is important. So that makes me happy. So that's why I'm working in this field. And one thing I also wanted to talk about was, there are n number of technologies in software industry. There are probably like around 500, 600, I don't even know. Java, G++, I don't, I don't know much of it. I, I, have, I have read some, some of the Python coding, but I have, I have not been like an expert on that. But in this, your mechanical engineering, your fundamentals are constant across. It is moon or earth or ocean, your fundamentals are same. Uh, if you if you talk about a software, maybe the AWS structure will change or some some other structure would change or something like that. But whereas in this, there is no change about all. The only change you will feel is company to company is your job structure change. Maybe you as a design engineer, your responsibilities are increased to do quality work also or reliability work also. That gives you an opportunity to learn both the things. You will understand the global business scale. Whereas in software, you just are a small uh, remote node that you are working on small part. Uh, probably you'll, you'll just work with a project engineer over there and then try to complete that task. So yeah, they, and then one other point I wanted to talk was, uh, as a mechanical engineer, you don't need to be all time available. You can just work nine to five. Uh, or if, if suppose if it is a manufacturing person, he, he might have certain ups and downs, but it's mostly at the initial times. But after once the product is made, it's just sweet cake eating exercise. That's it. There is no other thing. Unless and until there is a drastic production issue, then you will never be called. You are 9 to 5 or 9 to 4, you can call it. I, I have a flexible work timing. I, I enjoy it because Sometimes I come at nine o'clock, sometimes I come at eight o'clock. It depends on my meetings and work structures, it companies policies also. So you, you get all the flexibility you want. I, I can work from home too. I, I don't have anything to, to have to come to office. I can work from home, I can work from the lab, I can work from manufacturing facility, it doesn't matter. But whereas you, when you talk about a software field, you probably have to be available all the time because something is down, you might be in trouble. So you, I have seen people working like all nights, all days and stuff like that. So my thing is that mechanical engineering is still good. There, there are a lot of opportunities all across the world, even in India, my, feel, my gut feeling is saying that you should continue working on and you should focus mostly on fundamentals, your communication skills and your soft skills. With that, I would like to thank you people, whoever are listening, and wish you all the best. And my details would be given by my professor further. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.